Hey guys, welcome to another Photoshop tutorial. In this one, I'm going to be showing you how to make a cool text that looks like this. So let's get started. You want to make a new document with width of 200 pixels and a height of 1200 pixels. After that, you want to make a new gradient adjustment layer with the colors a dark from going from a dark gray to a black. This will be our background. Then you want to make another linear adjustment gradient with colors of your choice. And you want to send the blending mode to color and fill set the fill down to 25%. You want to make a final adjustments layer. And you want to go from a black to a clear. And with the top mark I set the location to 30%. So I'll set it to radial and then make sure reverse is checked. Set the opacity down to 65%. Finished with the gradients adjustment layer, you're ready to type your text. Set the blending mode to color dodge and double click on the right corner. Go into your outer glow and set the color to white. Set the opacity to 20%, make sure uh, blending mode is color dodge and with the size around 70 pixels. Go into your stroke, set the size to blending mode to color dodge and opacity to 50% and make sure it's white as well. Now you want to put that in the group and you want to duplicate it and each time you do you want to move the text just a little bit. You can even resize it or use a different font. When you're done with that you want to go into your elliptical tool and you want to set the feather to 10% and you want to make a generous selection underneath the text. Once you're happy with that you want to hit Q or click on the icon down the bottom of your tools panel for a quick mask and you go filter blur motion blur set the angle to 0 degrees and the distance to 700 pixels and hit OK now exit the quick mask and you want to go make a new curves that looks like this now you want to go new document and create a 300 by 300 pixel file double click on the background to activate the layer go into layer style go color overlay set it to black then go into your layer style stroke 2 pixels white color and position inside then ok then go edit define pattern and name it Going back to your other file, make a new layer and click on edit fill pattern, the pattern we just made. Then hit control T for free transform and move it down to the bottom of the text. And then set the blending mode to color dodge. Zooming out, we'll hit control T again free transform right click and perspective and then move the bottom two markers away from each other and you get this nice 3d looking effect you want to duplicate your text file go into free transform right click and flip vertical then you just want to bring it down we're going to make the reflection of the text. Now with that you'll make a new mask for the folder and you'll go into your gradient fill and you want to go from a black to a white so you get a fading effect. And now you're done. That's it.